little bit because you want the interoperability between these L2s and these roll-ups or else you're going to lose the composability that uh, that Ethereum was famous for. So anyway. Dank, dank sharding. Have you I not think, heard yeah. that yet? I mean, I've definitely heard of dank sharding. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's like, it, you know, th- this whole idea around sharding is not necessarily something I think is really feasible. A... B, if you're in this environment, you're going to break composability. There's literally no yeah, ability to not do that. So, you know, what we've been building here in Cosmos is, and, you know, what most of what we're doing at uh, Strangelove is working to re-enable asynchronous composability. Um, uh working to re-enable asynchronous composability within the IBC ecosystem. So what does that mean? Uh, you know, with, in computer programming, there's this ability to like lock uh, a specific portion of memory or storage and say, I need to do some stuff with this memory and I want everything else to stop. And that's basically how it works with every transaction. Uh, in Ethereum, every transaction, there's this lock on global state and that transaction can do all the stuff it needs. That's really slow. And if you need to speed up and support many, many more users on top of that system, you, you kind of need to change the way that that works. And that's the cost of the type of composability that Ethereum has. And I think they've done a lot of work to try to keep that composability when it's going to be fundamentally impossible in a lot of ways. Now, you know, this is basically do this and then do this next thing. And there can't be any latency or time in between those two. And there's no concept of that. What asynchronous composability adds in is say, do this and then wait for that to be finished and then do this other thing. And that's actually a very well-known programming paradigm. This exists in many programming languages. It just requires custom tooling to help deal with the latency and to help deal with the the many different error cases that crop up in a system like that. HTTP and the internet that we use is fundamentally asynchronous composability. We call them APIs. And there's been this massive uh, boom in APIs as services and products over the last 20 years. So asynchronous composability works at scale um, and that's what we're building in IBC. And 